You know, I don't think I will ever understand the craze around Wordle, but if you're having fun with it, hey, that's all good with me. But what I do understand is milking a trend, and today we're looking at a project to do exactly that. Today we're looking at C Wordle. This is Wordle written in C for your terminal. And the way it works is pretty straightforward. So right now there are no options for the application, so all you can do is run C Wordle. And if you've never played this game before, it's pretty straightforward as well. And your aim is to guess a five letter word within six guesses. And as you make guesses, you're going to be given various hints. So for example, let's go and guess the word hello. In this case, we can see that one of the letters is marked as yellow. So what we know here is this letter is in the word we're trying to guess, but it is in the incorrect location. But the other thing we know is the letters H, L, and O are not in the word we're trying to guess. So maybe the word is something like Thames instead. In this case, the E is still in the incorrect location, but more letters are being knocked out. Now this word is definitely not the correct word, but if we go and try something like bones instead, when a letter is in the correct location, it's going to be marked as green. And for the sake of testing, I've rigged it so we can get the correct answer, and that correct answer is going to be brine. So once you've got the correct word, all of the letters are going to be marked as green, and then the application just quits out. Now do keep in mind the colours that we are seeing here are going to be dependent on your terminal theme. The colours that I'm using in my theme line up with what it states in the documentation for your ASCII escape codes and teapot and all of that fun stuff, but if you're using some weird theme, the colours are going to look a little bit different. And now that we're done, unlike the original version of Wordle, we are not limited to one word per day. So we can go back into the game and try something else. I have not rigged it this time, so I have no idea what the word is going to be, and I probably won't end up guessing it. So because of that, there is a way we can get around that. If we go and type in help, we'll see it does tell us what the colors are going to mean. So if your colors do not line up with what I said, that is going to help you here. But there's also a cheat command. So if we go and press enter or exit now, that'll take us back to the game. If we type in cheat, it's gonna say, hey, the word is smite, as I said probably wasn't going to guess that. There is a reason why I don't play this game. On that note, because cheat is a five letter word and also a command in the game, by default, it is not in the dictionary of possible words. So don't worry about there being a situation where the game literally cannot be finished. But instead of cheating to find out the result, if you just want to leave the game, you can either press escape or you have the option of typing in exit. Either is going to work. So I mentioned that I rigged the game before, and that can be done because you have complete control over the dictionary being used. Right now, there are no options to pass in a custom dictionary or pass in like a big list of values, so you will have to go and modify the files directly. Now, if you compile the application yourself, the dictionaries might be in a slightly different location. Just check with your system. In my case though, I installed it from the AUR, so the dictionary is going to be located in slash user slash share slash C Wordle and then titled dict.txt and possible.txt. These share a very interconnected but different purpose. So the possible.txt, these are the words that can possibly appear as the correct answer. So the correct answer can be about, above, abuse, abyss, so on and so forth. I'm not reading out 2300 words, but make sure that word is also in the dict.txt as well, because that dictionary, that is used for the words that you are allowed to enter. So you might've noticed that when I ran the application, it told me a word was valid. As we can see, valid word. But if I go and type something in like all Ws, it's going to say the word is not found. So if you go and add words into the possible.txt, if they're not also in this dictionary, you literally will not be able to guess them. It does this so if you have absolutely no idea what the word is, it doesn't make you waste a guess if you guess something that's not actually a real word. The only requirements for these dictionaries is make sure there is one word per line and make sure there is five letters in every single word. Besides that, Add whatever you want. You want to add Linux, you want to add some made up words, go right ahead, do whatever you want. It's your system and it's your game. This is still in its very, very early stages. You may have spotted the number of commits over on the GitHub. Even so, I still wanted to cover it because it does pretty much everything the game already needs to do. And with a bit more polishing, I'm sure it could become an even 
better implementation of the game. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to go and install this for yourself, it is available on the AUR. This is the easiest way to install it, but if you don't have access to the AUR or you want to go and install it by hand, there are instructions here as well. It doesn't have any dependencies as long as you have a C compiler. You're pretty much good to go. Now, while I did cover the C version today, this is by no means the only terminal-based implementation of Wordle that exists. Wordle is a really popular game, and we have one here that is written in Go. I don't know if it's any good, but it's written in Go. We have one here that is written in a Python. We have another one that is written in Haskell. And you know what? Because everything needs to have a Rust version, there is also a Rust version of the application, because why not? But that's not even the worst of it. The worst version is the C++ version, not because C++ is a bad language, because of how the input and output is being done. It is a compile time game. What I mean by this is everything is done at compile time. There is no executable, nothing like that. If you want to go and play it, you pass values into the compiler and it passes values out through error messages. Why does this exist? I have no idea, but there is a video explaining how it works if you really want to go and find that out. For anyone who may be new to programming or new to playing around with C or C++, yes, you can certainly do this, but just because it is an artifact of how compilers work does not mean you should actually write a game like this, but it is really cool, I'll give it that. As I mentioned at the start, I don't understand why people play this game. I played a couple of rounds of it to understand how it works, understand how these applications work, and I still don't understand it. I, I, I genuinely don't. You make guesses of words, and that's the entire game. But hey, whatever floats your boat, have fun with whatever you want to have fun with, I guess. That's, that's all cool with me. But maybe you do enjoy playing this game, and you want to try it out inside of your terminal instead. It's basically just showing text on the screen, there's no reason not to. So I hope there is at least one person in the comment section who can explain why they like this game. I would certainly love to know. And if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Barrow Pay link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Bro Robertson Plays. That's going to be it for me, and I'm out.